Hey guys, welcome back to Matlock's Toy Room Reviews, and today I have another Star Trek figure. Um, this is, of course is Star Trek the original series. Um, this is Captain Kirk with his command chair, and this is the Trouble with Tribbles um, command chair. There's another one where he's in his normal uh, um, on-duty uniform, which is his yellow shirt. This is his green shirt, which is his uh, kind of casual off-duty uniform or whatever. Um, this one... I think was an Amazon exclusive. Um, it has audio and sounds. There is a try me button, but I'll wait till I get it out. Um, and it comes with a bunch of little tribbles, which is pretty cool. A pretty big package in here. Here's a picture of the regular one. Um, I think it's the same chair. Not sure though. Uh, but it, of course, it comes with the figure with the yellow shirt, and I don't think that one has the tribbles. But here's a little kind of buy on Kirk and. Stuff about his captain's chair. Very cool, made by Diamond Select or Art Asylum. Art Asylum. Um, not sure when this one was made. This is uh, 2008. So very cool. So let's take a quick break and we'll get him out of the package. All right, guys, and we are back with Captain Kirk. Um, before we get to the chair and everything, um, let's show the tribbles, which I thought were actually pretty neat. Um, scan down here real quick. Um, they came in a bag, just packed in the back, but they're these actual little furry balls. Um, they're actually just like real fur. Very cool, it comes with, uh, ten of them, which is actually pretty awesome. You know, you get ten of these furry little bastards. Um, I thought that was just kind of a neat little throw in, you know. They're a bit big, I guess, you know, if you compare them to the figure. Um, but not bad. I suppose you could really make these on your own if you wanted, or find them at a craft store, maybe. I'm not sure. Um, but they are very cool. It's very awesome there. On to the figure real quick before we do the chair. Very nice. I, I didn't really plan on getting the uh, him in his uh, kind of off-duty uniform. I have one of him in his um, yellow shirt. Uh, but I wanted to get one with the chair, and I already have one with the yellow shirt, so I figured this would be a perfect chance. And, uh, you know, the tribbles were a really nice addition. But, uh, here is Kirk. Um, definitely a younger Kirk, but not bad. Um, the resemblance is, you know, it's, it's not all there, but you can kind of see it um, from him in his younger days. Very cool. Of course, he didn't have his uh, Starfleet uniform or emblem there. It's down at the bottom. He's got some little gold trim on his sleeves. <clears throat> the outfit looks pretty good from what I can remember. It's even got like little, uh, his pants are kind of flared out there, just like on the show. Now, I don't know a lot about the original series because I honestly haven't watched that much of it. Um, it's just, you know, I grew up in the 80s, so it was all next gen for me, but. Yeah, I have seen some episodes, and I'd like to see more, I just, you know, it's not on TV anymore. The reruns aren't, so don't really have a chance to get it unless I buy the DVDs. But anyways, articulation on this guy, he has a uh, ball-jointed head. So it's down there at the neck, which kind of rotates around pretty well. A ball-jointed shoulder, swivel at the upper bicep, single-jointed elbow, and a swivel at the wrist. Um, his shirt is kind of a rubber, if you can see... There's like an under part that's plastic, the torso goes up and down. And you can see, you can't see the articulation, and his waist does swivel. And the legs don't have much articulation, which kind of sucks. They go back and forward, but um, they don't go in and out, like to the side or anything. Uh, there's a swivel right above the knee, single joint in the knee, and a swivel right at the top of the boot. Then you get an up and down foot joint, and that's it. And just like the other ones so far that I've done, none of them have um, uh, peg holes in the feet, which I wish they did. Because you always, it's always nice to have those just in case you have a figure that won't stand or you want to put them in a crazy pose um, that he won't stand in. Anyways, on to the, uh, the main reason to get this set, I, I believe. Uh, for me anyway, I wanted to get all the captain's chairs. Uh, very cool. Reminiscent of the, uh, the original you know, series chair. Very awesome. Look here. There's a couple little like control panels and stuff, some switches. 
some more switches. This is actually the button that activates the sounds. Um, I'm not going to play all of them, but uh, first off, I, I didn't do it in the package because there is a try me mode. Um, if it's on that, you know, it just plays the one phrase and doesn't do any other ones. You can also switch it to off or play. I put it on play. And there's the uh, battery compartment and the speaker down there. But this is Captain James Kirk of the USS Enterprise. You see the lights light up on both of these panels here. Uh, the Uro, open a channel to all decks. Security alert to all decks. Kirk out. The audio is actually really nice on this one. It, it sounds pretty much just straight from the show, um, which is cool. But, uh, you know, just a very cool chair. It does swivel a little bit. It doesn't go too crazy. I think it's got cords in there connecting to the bottom. But uh plays very nice. Like I said, the audio sounds really good. I don't know how it sounds on, you know, through the video. Um, but in person, it sounds actually really nice. And uh, again, I'm really stoked about these tribbles. I thought that was just really cool. Um, one you know, big reason to get this one, this uh, chair, instead of the regular one. Um, so anyways, that was the Captain Kirk with his captain's chair, uh, with the tribbles, and his uh, off-duty uniform. Thanks for checking it out, guys.